Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are going to do a how did they dry video. These are the coasters we've done throughout the year. Um, they're not in order. The first set I'll do in a separate video that was the sunset red, orange, yellow themed ones. But these are the next four videos that went up. Um, they may or may not be in this order, but then we'll do another one with the others. Just There's been so many. I've been really slacking on the how do they dry video, so I apologize. I do promise to get caught up. If there's any video or any painting that you've seen in any of the videos that you want to make sure gets in a video, leave it in the description below. Mm, nope, that's not what it is. Leave it in the comments below, and I'll make sure I do a video on that. I am going to try to go back and get them all, but if I miss one and it's your favorite, let me know, and I'll make sure I get that one in the video. So we'll go ahead and get started. This first row here was the flip cup and we used some really cool colors in here. There was some color shift and some metallics. Dried really pretty. Lots of uh, cool designs in there. Love those cells right there. Here's the next one. It's got a big chunk of the magenta E color. I'm not exactly sure which color was in there, but I like these like pretty large cells. It's got like the black with the green around it. I think that's the emerald. I think that is the emerald flash green. And that's by Folk Art uh, Color Shift. Then a lot of gold in this one. Gold kind of took over. And then more green cells. The metallics like to sell, so if you like cells, use that. And then here's some really cool lacing with the color shift in the black. And then some gold, magenta -y color. Some more cells, surprise. So yeah, really cool. And then we did, a, that was a flip cup, so then we did tree rings. Oh, that's what these are. The same color palette. Gold, magenta, black, and the emerald. Definitely maintained the, the tree ring there, but gold really took over on that one. Got some black coming through. I think on some of these we did like a black base coat, and then on some we didn't. So I would guess this is one we did because it looks like some little black cells pop through. And that tends to happen. Now this one's gorgeous. Look at that. We got some of the green cells on the outside. Definitely maintained our tree ring lines with the gold and the magenta. This probably had a black base coat based on those black cells coming through. And then more green. It's like it's outlined with green cells. <laughs> and this next one kind of did the same thing, but with black instead of green. Really cool. I guess there are some green ones in here. But green and black there. Lots of black cells on the outside. A little bit of green in this corner and there. And then still maintain our tree ring line even though it's a lot of gold. And then we did a, it was like a double flip, so, or a double dip. I don't really know what you call it. I put paint on one tile and then smushed the other tile on top and then put peeled it off, but undid it. <laughs> and I don't remember which ones were which. Couldn't tell you. So we're just gonna go in a random order here. But one got the paint on it, like poured directly on it. The other one, it just got the transfer paint. And in here we use, looks like red, gold, purple, probably black. I think there's black in there. So we got some gold little cells out like that corner with the lacing oh except there's also pink in here I don't think I said that earlier love this whole section right here with all of that lacing with the black and the red and then this little corner with the purple it almost looks like a butterfly <laughs> and then this one has a lot of black on it some little pink cells there a little gold, a little bit of that lacing, but not a lot. Mainly black throughout this one. A lot darker than the last one. And then this one looks so cool. It's like a, like a little like funnel right there. 
got some gold, some pink cells again. Pink really didn't show up very, very well here. A little bit on that corner, but not a whole lot throughout the entire piece. And whereas that does look pretty dark, I do think that's the purple and it probably mixed with the black a little to make it look darker than it actually was. And then this one's probably my favorite one of them. I just got a lot of interest in it. So we've got some cells, all different colors kind of fading in and out. A lot of explosion cells in that corner. Another little funnily design that gold like to do that in this piece apparently. And then lots of uh, webbing there with the red and gold and a little bit of pink on the corner there. That was that one. Then we did a swipe using like greens and blues and look here, there's more gold. I think this was the gold that I mixed the two because I didn't think I had enough and clearly I had plenty and once I mixed it, I kind of had to use it. <laughs> so it is throughout a lot of pieces. Um, but here are some of the lacing and cells that came up from the swipe. I don't use silicone in any of my paints. I used to before the YouTube channel. I didn't like the pits that it made, so I do not use it anymore. Looks like we may have got a little bit of white in this one, apparently. Probably was low on white. I seem to always be low on white. We've got little blue and green cells, gold cells, of course. I love swipes. They just create so many cells. This one, this again looks like a butterfly shape here with the wings. Dark blue cells there, a little bit of webbing there, lacing there. Love the cells, love the green cells, I don't know why. Just love the contrast between the greens and the blues. And then this one, a lot of blue in this one. And then it looks like we didn't really get that green swiped very well, but that's okay because it kind of looks like a little seed plant. And then I love the way these cells and lacing or whatever you want to call it did there. I don't even know how that happened. That looks super crazy cool. And this cell of, this row of cells here down this, kind of like down the middle. A lot of blue in that corner. But overall, super crazy pretty. So let me know what you think about all of these tiles in the comments below. There'll be some more videos next week and the week after and the week after <laughs> for all of the um, paintings that we've done recently that I haven't showed you how they dried. Uh, so those will be to come. I'm not going to do them back to back to back because that'll get a little bit tedious for you and for me. <laughs> um, but I'll try to do about one a week just to get us caught up. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And it makes you happy.